We're going to continue with our presentations uh, with two of our uh, illustrious faculty, but before I introduce them, I couldn't resist taking a moment to say something about this term, translational research. Uh, Dr. Crowley had uh, mentioned his work in the uh, Clinical Research Roundtable, which uh, in 1995 defined clinical research in a way that has stood the test of time. And there's now a generically generalizable, acceptable definition of clinical research. The term translational research, on the other hand, has proven to be remarkably elusive to a uniform and generally accepted definition. And uh, there have been a lot in the literature about that. Um, and one of the most important papers is the one that Dr. Crowley mentioned. This is a paper by uh, Nancy Sung, Bill Crowley, and the rest of the Institute of Medicine, right on cue, Dr. Crowley, uh, the, uh, the Clinical Research Roundtable of the IOM, which really focused uh, people's thinking around translational research in terms of these translational blocks, referred to generically now in the, uh, in the academy as T1 and T2. Um, a couple of things to note, though, about this model. First, although Dr. Crowley did point out that this is really a bi-directional process, this initial figure does show it as a left-to-right process. And while there are many figures out there that are trying to, uh, to put arrows on both ends, the fact that we tend to read left-to-right reinforces the notion that it's bench to bedside, bedside to populations. And, we, and our conception, as Dr. Shamoon showed uh, this morning, when he showed a, a, what the figure we used in our CTSA application, and this is another uh, formulation of that figure, attempts to pull this together into a more circular, circular process, uh, hopefully not running in circles, but actually <laughs> developing uh, these interactions and these new conceptions. And in fact, in this model, um, while the notion of translational blocks has permeated the literature and some of the discussions, we like to think of these T's as translational bridges, as in line with the, uh, with the title of today's talks. So T1 is that connection between the mindset of the clinician, the bedside uh, investigator, and the laboratory investigator. T2 links the clinical investigator and the population scientist. And what we're going to be hearing from now are some of the folks who uh, toil in the fields uh, that we're calling T3 here, that link between the mindset of the laboratory scientist and the perspective of a population scientist, bridging those disciplines and those uh, research methodologies.